Hi, this is Timothy Riley, and this is my video review of the Miel Henri Chicken Roaster. Now, this is the second item that I've had in this material. This flame is the uh, brand name of the material that the Miel Henri makes. And what I really like about this is, it, first of all, it's attractive, it's very durable, and you can use it on a variety of different heat sources. You can use it under a gas, charcoal, or wood barbecue, uh, electric, uh, you put it in the oven under a broiler up to 750 degrees. It really retains the heat. So what we're going to be doing is putting a chicken over this and it's going to cook it pretty much from the inside out because of this will be in the chicken's cavity. Now, of course, cooking a chicken vertically has a lot of advantages. Primarily, all the juices are going to run into here, so we're not going to have the chicken just sitting in them. Let's get our chicken ready. Now I've got a six pound chicken here that I've been marinating in some orange juice and some um, mango juice, and I've inserted some orange slices in the breast, and I've rubbed it with a, it's called a Colorado seasoning mix. So we're gonna get this guy all set in here, and now I'm gonna put some vegetables around it. Okay, we have our kind of squat chicken sitting in there, and I've added some little Dutch potatoes, yellow potatoes, and some small onions all around. Add some shallots too. I've added, in addition to the Colorado seasoning, which has tarragon, um, garlic salt, and some other things, I've added some fresh ground black pepper and some kosher sea salt. Now I'm going to put this in the oven for about an hour, hour and a half at 350. And we'll check the temperature and see how it looks. Okay, I just pulled this out of the oven. It was about an hour and 45 minutes at 350. And it's got some nice color here, which I like. Maybe a little bit too much for some people, but I like that caramelization. And the potatoes and the onions are all in this juice. I forgot to mention I added some white wine in there too. So that's going to make a real good base for our uh, sauce. And if you look at the back here, this is what I really like about this particular roaster. Is that this almost reminds me of a rotisserie chicken because this hasn't been sitting in the fat. So you've got that really nice crisp skin all the way around the chicken. Now mine didn't sit up nice and pretty as the one that was on the label. Uh, maybe I'll figure out how to do that. But I think this is going to be something I'll use very often. Okay, I've just set the chicken on a plain plate here. And you can see that it's nicely browned, a little bit more than some people like it, but I like that caramelization. Uh, the slices of orange, and just spread the flavor throughout the whole chicken. I'm going to take out the breast and slice it so everybody gets a little piece of the orange. And the potatoes and the onions are just really gorgeous. Look at that. It's just very tender. This will be really a nice dish. I'm going to take the uh, juice and I'm going to separate the fat and make a real nice sauce with that. I think another thing I like about the cooker itself is that the way it sits in there, it keeps it hot for so long. That's the nice thing about the flame ceramic, is it retains heat almost as good as your cast iron. So it keeps the chicken warm. You can set it on the plate. And long as it's still sitting with the spindle inside of it, it's going to keep it warm from the inside out. Well, this is a product I'm going to use a lot. I really like it. It does just what it says. I'm going to give it five stars. I hope this review was helpful to you.